Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boon Bape, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all another Outriders video, and this time it's going to be on my top three weapon mods. And I'm going to break this down into the top three tier three mods, as well as the top three tier two mods. And I'm also throwing in a couple of honorary mentions because there is a lot of mods in this game, and a lot of them are really fun to play with. So these are all essentially going to be the best damaging mods, at least the ones that I found to be the best in general that have worked for my builds and stuff like that. I know there's a couple in here that I'm not going to be including because I don't have them, such as Grand Opening and Moaning Winds. So I know that a lot of people base their builds around those. I simply haven't gotten them, guys. Don't worry, I'm not forgetting them. I'm just going to be going over the ones that I found to be really effective. I have luckily all the tier 2 mods, so this is going to be my full analysis on the best damaging tier 2 mods. So overall, I'm hoping that this video is going to help some people that maybe are newer or just haven't had a chance to dabble in a lot of different mods. So I'm going to highlight the ones that have worked really well for me. And like I said, hopefully if you are a newer player, this is going to give you some direction when looking for certain mods on weapons and good bases for guns. So now with all of that being said, let's jump into the video. So I'm going to be kicking this list off with my top three tier three mods. And this isn't in any particular order. I'm just going to be listing them by what I have here. And this one you likely have seen me use a lot, and it's going to be the Wrath of Moloch. So the Wrath of Moloch, as you can see, is an on crit mod. So anytime you deal like critical damage to an enemy, it's going to explode their bodies, making everyone around them take damage. And on top of that, they're going to get inflicted with burn. You are going to notice a trend in some of these that it is AOE that inflicts a some kind of status to them. This is going to allow you to take advantage of these statuses, making you do more damage via other mods such as straight up damage increases or things that take advantage of enemies that are burning. And so the next one up on this list is very similar and you'll see that I usually like to run these in tandem, the first and the second being Ultimate Bone Shrapnel. That's because they both are activated the exact same way. Ultimate Bone Shrapnel, whenever you critical shot an enemy will explode, dealing damage to not just them but everyone around them and also inflicting everyone with bleed. I like running these together because whenever I inflict a single critical hit, it's gonna inflict huge amounts of AOE damage and on top of that, it's also going to put the bleed as well as the burn status. And I like taking full advantage of that. So anytime an enemy is bleeding or burning, I like to have the mods that increase my damage against them. So it's a really reliable damage increase, which is the reason I like running them together. As for our third and final mod, I've really recently fallen in love with this mod. It does a huge amount of damage, even though it is on a longer cooldown. And that, of course, is going to be Ravenous Locust. It does have that small downside of not being able to proc as often, but I found that the area of damage is really generous. On top of that, it does inflict weakness, so the enemies aren't going to be putting out nearly as much damage. And you can also get more mods similar to the other ones that increase your damage against weakened enemies. Also, it's really nice that you don't have to rely on getting crit shots, so you can shoot an enemy anywhere, and this is going to deal a significant amount of damage, not just to them, but anyone surrounding them. So I've been using this mod a ton recently, and I've been using a strategy that I haven't seen anyone use. I'm likely going to make a video on this in its entirety, but just to give you all a sneak peek, this is actually a really effective mod to put on a secondary weapon or just a second gun that you don't use too often. You can pull it out, inflict the enemy with Ravenous Locust, and then swap back to your main weapon. That's what you've been seeing me do in this gameplay in the background, and it's an extremely effective strategy to get you an extra 10 to 20 million damage even on short maps like Boomtown. And as for the honorable mentions that we have, I actually have a couple here. The first one being Killing Spree and the second one being Embalmer's Rage. These actually are great when used in tandem, but alone they're also incredibly, incredibly effective. The reason I didn't include them in the top three is just because they don't actually do damage in of themselves. They allow you to do more damage. So they aren't going to be very effective for certain builds. So in the end, I wanted to prioritize mods that are always going to do a reliably decent amount of damage. Killing Spree, while it's amazing in meta builds such as Blighted Rounds, so is Embalmer's Rage. Like I said, they don't do any damage themselves. They just allow you to do outrageous amounts of damage. Specifically, Killing Spree is going to be the reason you see a lot of people doing over a million damage still. 
because once they have all of their damage stacks rolling, their damage can get out of hand really, really fast. Also, Embalmer's Rage is amazing. This is one of the first mods that allowed me to reliably get into CT15s when I first started playing the game. So while I don't have both of these mods in my top three, they're definitely game changer mods. And if you can get them and use them with the proper builds, we'll actually send you all the way into the very top tier of endgame. So that's going to be about it for my list of the top three tier three mods. And if you have anything I didn't list, like I said, I don't have grand opening or moaning wins. So you don't have to throw that down in the comments below. I already know those are amazing. But if you have anything else that I left out that you think is an amazing tier three mod that you've been using for your builds, let me know down in the comments below. I don't have a lot of familiarity with all of the mods, especially because I only play techno at the moment. So let me know what I'm missing out down in the comments below. All right, so working our way towards the tier two mods again, it's going to be the same deal as the tier three mods. I'm going to be going through the ones that I think are the best as far as damage dealers, not to say that the others aren't good, but this is what I like to run on a lot of my builds. So the first one is likely going to be pretty familiar and you've seen me use it a lot. And this one is going to be death chains. So when it comes to death chains, I think it's no secret how strong it is. A lot of people use it. I see a ton of people using it in even their end game builds, end game weapons. It's one of the best tier two mods by far. I've even put out videos of me doing end game challenge tier 15 content with death chains, and it's still able to put out really reliable, decent damage. It's really nice because you don't really have to aim to apply it. So if you're using something like a shotgun, it can be extremely effective there and applying it is really noticeable, which is nice. So you can know when to reapply it as well. All right. So for the next one, it's actually the only on kill effect that you're going to see in this entire list. And it's because someone from the Technomancer Discord for Outriders actually put me onto this. It's the level two bone shrapnel. So this isn't the ultimate bone shrapnel that I showed earlier, just the level two one and it activates on kill. So it's the same exact effect where an enemy when killed explodes and also inflicts bleed on everyone. So this is going to be extremely effective and for the same exact reasons that the tier three bone shrapnel is effective. But what's nice is it activates on kill instead. So you don't have to reliably aim at enemies weak points and honestly this mod isn't that amazing but when you combine it with something such as the blighted rounds build that you're killing enemies extremely fast and often you can do upwards of one to two to even three million damage if enemies are grouped up and you're able to just take one of them down so the key reason that I actually enjoy this mod over something like the ultimate tier three version of it when I'm running blighted rounds is because of the quick reset. There's not nearly if pretty much not any mods that can do this much damage on a one second cooldown. Because if you think about it, if you kill a single enemy that has five enemies around them, then you're going to be doing a million damage and that has a one second cooldown. So you can easily take down rooms of enemies with just this mod. As long as you take down a couple of enemies, it's going to spread so much damage so quickly. And that's all because of this one second reset. So that's what makes this so amazing and why it's going to be up here in my top three. And so moving on to our third and final tier two mod that I'd like to talk to you about. And that's going to be a surprise for a lot of people because I'm actually picking resistance breaker. Now, Resistance Breaker in itself doesn't actually do any damage, but when it comes to Anomaly builds, this is almost a must have. Anomaly builds actually don't work around armor like firepower builds do in that they actually work around resistance. So if an enemy has a really high resistance, that means your Anomaly build is going to be doing less damage overall to them. One really easy way to get around this is by inflicting them with this mod. Luckily, this mod has a one second cooldown. And on top of that, if you run this with a shotgun, for example, you're able to spread this debuff on a ton of enemies. This is going to allow you to inflict a ton more damage than you would without it because you're just going to be shedding that enemy's resistance so that they're going to be taking pure damage, not blocking any of it. This is going to be extremely noticeable on bosses or just harder to take down enemies. So that's going to be about it for our top three. And as the honorary mentioned, I wanted to throw up Perpetuum Mobile here because it has facilitated so many of the uh, current meta builds to be active, as well as the minigun build that you can see in the background here. So overall, it's a pretty simple mod. As long as you kill an enemy with your weapon, 
and you have less than a third of your magazine left, then it's gonna instantly refill the entire thing back to full. What's nice is this actually works as long as you use it on your primary weapon when you use the minigun, as you can see in the background here. I am not really running out of ammo ever, and it's because I'm running Perpetual Mobile. This has also facilitated a lot of other builds, especially things like the Twisted Rounds build when it comes to Trickster. I'm pretty sure this is how they are able to refill their magazines. So overall, it's been an incredibly impactful mod, and I had to throw it up here as a tier two mod that I think a lot of people should check out if they don't know exactly how it works. So there's a lot that I didn't include here from tier three to tier two, such as the Storm Whip, Ultimate Storm Whip, String of Gauss, there is a long list of things I didn't include here, and I did that just because I found these to be the most effective, and it'd be really nice to know what you all think I should have included in here that you think is the most effective in your experience. So it'd be really interesting to see what everyone is running with. As I'm just one person, this is my experience. It'd be great to know your experience. So I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully you try a couple of these mods out. Hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you all very soon.